Hello, everybody. Welcome to Live at Five. It is Monday, February 11th. I'm Beth Stevens. I'm Paul Wontorek. And we are here in the studio with Caitlin Moynihan. She's back. Hello, I'm back. Yeah, you're on vacation. I you was were... She was out. Oh, She's doing she brought good cookies work. back. Oh, well, there I you wasn't go. ready for that. <laughs> they were better than Girl Scout cookies. Hey, Beth, wow. who's our guest today? We are graced with some royalty today. Lilius White. Oh. Ooh. Of Broadway's in the Cats. Studio. No. I just I like mean, yes. talk about cats. But, but no, we'll get but there. We've loved her in so many things. <laughs> so many things, and we're going to talk about oh my all God. those things. The including... Life 20. Um, oh. mm. I still I listen to her all the time. Always. From Brooklyn to Broadway. Oh, great album. She has a new concert, though. She does at Green Room 42. We will get to that, but first, our top five. This is seriously loverly news. Oh. I'm glad you're back with your one-liners. Uh, <laughs> Tony winner Laura Benanti is having a good time up at My Fair Lady at Lincoln Center. This is her dream role. Yes, and she, Eliza Doolittle. And she didn't get to go in for it the first time around because she was busy making babies or baby. Uh, but now she's Eliza Doolittle. Everyone's loving her. She was supposed to finish her run this weekend. But guess what? She's now there until, until July 7th, at least. Uh, she won a Tony for Gypsy. She was nominated for She Loves Me with Mother Birds on Nervous Breakdown. That was funny. Swing into the woods. And she is joined by Harry Haddon Patton, who is still there playing. Um, yes. What's his name? What's that guy's name? Higgins. Henry Higgins. Uh, Tony winner Rosemary Harris. We have an interview with her on the site that yes, Imogen we do. did. Uh, Six time Tony nominee, should be two time winner, Danny Burstein. Wow. Uh, it's a fantastic. That was my editorial. I just want to say. Editorializing. Laura Benanti tweeted at us, so I just want to say a point that she said that even though she will be at Lincoln Center through July, she is going to honor all of her concert dates that she had. So look on the website and see when she's out. Okay. If she tweets it, you got to listen, right? All right. All right. <laughs> and we found out who else is going all the way down to Hades Town. That's a quote. That's a quote. Thank you, Caitlin. You're Caitlin welcome. knows her Hades Town very well. Hades well, Town is coming. Lilius White's friend Andre De Shields is up in that. Lilius knew knows Andre De Shields. We already knew that. Th these are the newly announced cast members for the Broadway premiere of Hades Town. Joelle Blackman, Yvette Gonzalez Naser, and Kay Trinidad will play the Fates. Oh, That's they're a fun. good role. Like good group. roles. The girl group. <laughs> uh, they join Patrick Page, Eva Nablazada, Andre De Shields, as we mentioned, Amber Gray, and Reeve Carney, who are coming over from the London production. And this uh, begins previews March 22nd, opens April 17th. We all love it. The Walter Kerr. We We're love fans. It. We're we love our fans. So there we you go. Love it. And congratulations are in order for these new Grammy winners. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, David Yazbek really has to stop whining because. <laughs> He won a Tony and now a Grammy. He can't call himself. Well, remember how it, when he won his Tony, he's like, people said that I wouldn't be called a Tony loser. He's like, it's still true. He's, still, he's like, I'm still a Tony <laughs> I'm loser. I'm still a Tony loser. <laughs> oh, David. And a Tony winner. Uh, so the band's visit won Best Musical Theater Album at last night's Grammy Awards. It beat out My Fair Lady, Carousel, Once on This Island, and Jesus Christ Superstar Live. So this means not only does David Yazbek win a Grammy, but uh, musical coordinator, supervisor, Dean Chernow, and... Cast members, Itai Benson, Adam Cantor, Katrina Lenk, and Ariel Slotchel. So what they do is they honor the, the, the main vocalist, the, main vocalist. the primary vocalist. Gotcha. Uh, all get Grammy Awards. That's pretty fancy. That's pretty cool. Um, other winners of note include Hugh Jackman, Alex Lacamoire, Ben Pasek, and Justin Paul for The Greatest Showman, which I'm still obsessed with. So Hugh album. Jackman now yeah. is he's very close to an EGOT. He's, he's, he's missing eged, an O. Eged. EGT. He's, he's EGT. He's going to be EGOT after he wins his Oscar, which will happen, I'm Very sure. Very soon. Uh, but anyway, Greatest Showman won Best Compilation Soundtrack. And Bradley Cooper, who's you know, kind of a Broadway he's person. a Tony nominee. Um, he won along Lady Gaga for their song Shallow from A Star Is Born. And this is very exciting for The Greatest Showman. Now I just want news of The Greatest Showman on Broadway, please. I feel like you're going to say By that By the way, did day. you know Lilius White was in Barnum? What? I did know that. But thank you for the thank information. God, I'm Thanks all... for the. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a new concert called Paul Wontork Sings the Songs of Lilius White Now. Let's double it. <laughs> and now we know exactly when the UK will be found. We're talking about Dear Evan Hansen, obviously, because mm -hmm. of Caitlin's quote. Uh, Dear Evan Hansen is going to the Noel Coward Theater and. We have dates. Are you ready? It starts on October 29th, and opening night is November 19th. Mm. It's exciting. 
Um, same same creative team as Broadway, Michael Greif and Alex Lacamoire, David Corrins. Uh, we don't have any casting yet, but we will let you know as soon as we know. He's not going to be British, right? It's not going to be... I don't know. Hamilton's British. <laughs> well, that would, that would be fun if they did a <laughs> yeah, show right, and then just yeah. made them all randomly British. Like, it's a British family. It I mean, look, it's it happened, it's happened it before. Hinton, it's so. definitely I'm, happened I'm before. Strong enough. They can do American accents out there, you know? Sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and this Spring Awakening duo is reuniting for an exciting new project. Dolly Parton <laughs> is the exciting part. Dolly Parton <laughs> has a Netflix anthology called Dolly Parton's Heartstrings. And we love to pull them, don't we? Uh, it features new and classic tunes written by Dolly Parton, who's a Tony nominee for what? 9 to 5. 5. Remember that? Mm -hmm. That's in London now. It's in the West End, yeah. Um, anyway, Andy Mientes, who we adore, uh, former, who's been here before in this chair. Former and vlogger, Andy Former Broadway.com vlogger. <laughs> I always have to say um, that. What was the name of his vlog? Uh, vlog of Purple Summer, something like that. <laughs> Spring something Awakening, like that. correct. He will be in the episode titled Two Doors Down. She's probably about someone that lives two doors down. <laughs> uh, and Emmy winner Cameron Mannheim, who was in Spring Awakening with Andy Mann. There's a Spring Awakening Death connection Awake. here Death and West. also appeared in the blog. Yes. Uh, is set to appear in an episode called Down from Dover, which is probably about someone from Dover. There's a lot of down. down. <laughs> Everything's going to down. To do something. It's all going down. Uh, Heartstrings will showcase stories, memories, and inspirations behind Dolly's The Love Songs. Each episode is a standalone story. We'll have a different cast. This is all going to happen later this year, and we will be streaming it. I can't wait. Well, Paul, it's been fun. I'm wow. tired. All right. <laughs> I'm out. Paul. Because the authentic Lilius White The genuine is here. article is here. So thank you, Paul. And Caitlin, will you tell us about our illustrious guest? Gladly. Yes, we have Lilius White in the studio with us here today. She is gearing up to return for a concert at Green Room 42 on Valentine's Day to celebrate Green Room 42's second birthday. She's a Tony winner for a performance in The Life. She earned another nomination for Fela and also appeared in Dreamgirls, Once This Island, Cats. Chicago, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, and so much more. Her screen credits include Sesame Street, Law and Order, The Get Down, and she was also in Hercules. Did you know that? Because she's amazing. And there's a Hercules TV show. She's in that too. There's a lot going on. She's done a million things. We love her. Follow her on social media at Diamond Lilius because she's got a lot of really good things to say. And please leave all of your questions in the comments below. Please welcome Lilius and Beth. Thank you, Caitlin. Hi, Hi Lilius. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. I feel like we hung out here about a year ago or so. A year or so. Well, but now we're back. A while. I'm so glad to be back. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> so there's so much going on. Uh, Caitlin seems excited about Hercules, so let's start with that. Hercules <laughs> yes. is going to the Delacorte. That's what I've heard. Tell me what you think of that. Well, I think it's a great idea if they put me in it. <laughs> Thank okay. you. So, Thank you. Uh, so far, nobody's called me. The role me. is called Calliope. Calliope, the lead mm -hmm. muse, or ha however you want to say it. But, you know, they ought to get all the old muses together. The ones, the original muses. Let, let, let me not say old muses. The original <laughs> muses. muses. <laughs> you know, Roz Ryan, LaChance, Cheryl Freeman. We could do it. I'm we ready. We still got it. Yeah, I think okay. you do. As, yes, And you do. Oh, we're better muses now because we're wiser. I can see it. Yes. You want to go to the park and see all the raccoons every, every night? Uh, raccoons? No. <laughs> I'm not really into raccoons. They, they kind of terrify me. Okay. We're going to talk about what you've got coming up next. <laughs> dogs? Okay. okay. Dogs are okay. Cats? Don't all right. bring your dogs to Shakespeare in the Park, people. Rats? Raccoons? No. <laughs> Birds? Okay. No raccoons. <laughs> what do you want to know, darling? <laughs> I want to know about your concert. So this is... They're calling it the second birthday, but it's not... It's, it's I, the third. It's I the guess third. It, it was zero, one, two. That's how we're... It was born... Then I had a first birthday, now it's having a second birthday. But it's your third time at Green Room 42. Well, actually, it's my fourth or fifth time. Fourth? Okay. Yeah. All I right, like good. that room. Uh, yeah, it's a good I room. I like it. It's a good room. It's and a they Valentine's keep improving Day the sound. But this is the, for the Valentine's Day um, event, we're calling event. it. Event? Yes. Uh, it's a new show. There are some old elements in it. There's some songs that I've done before. Tell us what it's called. It's called the Lilius White Valentine's Day show. I thought it was called I'm Getting Along All Right. It is called I'm Getting Along All Right. See, that was I'll a see. test for oh, you. I was listening. I'm here. I did my, my due diligence. And I love that it's song. Called I'm getting I love along when you do right. that song. Big May Bell song. Yes, yes. It is a big, big, May, May, big, big May Bell song. There it is. And you get to cry a little. Well, I'm going to make you cry. Okay. That's what you want to do on Valentine's Day, actually. You want to cry, but you want to cry for that good feeling, you know? Um, but we have some really wonderful tunes. I have a great band. 
led by Alvin Hoff Jr., yeah. who just finished being the MD on Once on this Island on Broadway. Yeah. Once on this Island on Broadway, you might know something about that. Yeah. Did you go see it? I did. I saw it a couple of times. How did it feel to be in that room? Well, it, it felt wonderful because there were lots of wonderful new changes. Um, I, I really enjoyed the set. I enjoyed the fact that they had live animals and that it really looked and felt like um, a small village in the Caribbean mm -hmm. with the sand and the water. And, and it was great. And I thought it was really smart casting to cast outside the box. With Alex Newell doing your role? With Alex Newell and with um, the woman who played, uh, I am the star, you know that one. I just want you to keep singing. I just want you to keep singing. Um, so how did it feel for you when you heard the music when you were in that room? Was it was it, very you, moving. Was it like in your bones? It was moving. And even though I know the story and I know the outcome, it's a very moving uh, show, you know. And the voices were glorious. The young woman who played uh, young T. Moon was just, she was excellent. Haley Kilgore. Uh, yeah. yeah. She was great. Yeah. Did you, um, are you going to sing from Once on this Island in your new show? Yes, I am. Oh, are you? What are you going to be singing? Because there yeah. are some love songs. There are some love songs, but this song is a song that didn't make the cut. Oh. So you're going to have to come and see the show to, to find out. I love when you give me your coy face. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite. Uh, last time we were here together, we were talking about your show in London. Any chance you'll bring that here? There is this is a Fats Waller review. Talk. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of, um, I'm having a meeting, in fact, next week with um, Hoagie Carmichael Jr. Wow. And Billy Stritch. And we're going to, and, and the man who does the press for uh, over there. And we're going to sit down and we're going to figure it out. Good. So that's upcoming maybe next year. So the hottest show right now that everyone's talking about is Russian Doll. And you had a little moment. I mean, a little tiny uh, moment. A tiny moment. They need to bring that back, but I, I did scream in my living room <laughs> when I saw you. Was it fun to be on that set? It was great. Um, they were lovely. It was, it was done very quickly. And uh, the young man who plays my son is just lovely. He's just wonderful. Really sweet guy. And um, the woman with the big red hair. Her energy is just like that in real, in real life. Natasha Leon. Yeah, she's got great, great, tremendous energy. And you know, I love that. And I <laughs> love that hair. You have a little moment, but you make the most of it, I that just want to say. That red hair, honey, that's Sonia hair. <laughs> you know, I love that Sonia hair. I tried to steal that hair at the end of the life. Not oh. steal it, but I thought, you know, they should just let me have this hair. You had big hair in the life. I had big, beautiful red hair in the life. <laughs> you did. Yeah, I wanted to take her home, put her in the closet, just whip her out on special occasions. Just some Sonia you know. hair mm, just comes Sonya out. Sonia hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take some questions. I know you have them. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to give us a little preview about your show on, um, on Well, Thursday? the show is about, um, the premise of it is self-love. Oh, I love and, that. And uh, because this is the time of the woman, I'm not going to say the year of the woman. I'm thinking this is the time of the woman I right like now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I'm coming from a place where you don't have to have a Valentine to celebrate Valentine's Day. You can go, mm, ah, oh, I'm so wonderful. And just love yourself. If you don't have somebody loving on you, figure out how to love yourself. I've got a drawer full of them. Anyway. Oh, this is um, a feel-good show of the year. Yes, it's going to be a feel-good show. It is, it's, it, there are love songs also, but, and, you know, I don't want to give it all away. Okay. But, you know, there's some other creatures that we love that we don't have to, um, I don't know how to say it. Anyway, come see the show. Okay. You sold me. I mean, you sold okay. me. Okay, what else? Okay. Um, all right, we're going to take some questions from... March 11th. Oh March I'm going to be at the Subculture with Jason, Jason Robert, Brown. Robert Brown. What are you doing there? We don't know yet. Oh, okay. You got some time. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then where are you going? And You're then I'm going to Irvine, California, four women with four other women um, to sing some stuff over there. Just going to Irvine, keep, California. Keep and then I'm going to be in Provincetown in July, July 24th. That's a good time of year to be there. Yeah. I love this. Me too. And are you working on new shows? or well, How do you develop these shows? Do you just work Well, I get MD? together with my esteemed director, yes. Mr. Will Nunziata, and we just sit down and we hash things out, and, and sometimes I cry a lot because I remember stuff that's not happy, and, um, and then we take all of those emotions and we say, let's do this. You know, it's like having a, a deck of cards and we put them all out on the table and we pick one and we pick one and we pick one and we say, oh, no, that's not a good match, and we do it again. I love this. But I, I really enjoy creating that way. And, you know, I could do it for other people, too, when I have time. 
you, <laughs> this is the side hustle of the year, I think. Um, Caitlin. Yes. Please. We, I know that you all have questions, so let's get to them. Yes, we got questions. So Alexandra would like to know, uh, what are some of the life lessons you have learned from your illustrious career in the theater industry? Wow. Life lessons. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was le not lessons from the life, life lessons. Those are different. <laughs> They're different. Now, li lessons from the life. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's another show. show. <laughs> that's a different show. Because <laughs> we used to, anyway. Um, <laughs> life lessons, uh, be on time. Mm -hmm. And give yourself plenty of time to uh, get yourself ready for your show. Um, get there, you know, an hour and a half before half hour. So you can warm up and, and relax. Um, I've also learned when I did take the subway, I don't take the subway anymore, but when I took the subway, I would observe people. I would watch people on the subway. And you can get a lot out of that as mm -hmm. an actor. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. And give yourself time. Oh, I love that. Very cool. professional. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so Mary says that you have been in a lot of shows that have found new life, like Once is Island and Dream Girls, and then also the, you were also a, a voice in the ensemble of Anastasia, and now that's on Broadway, right? Um, I had a little, little yeah, tiny a little role, bit. little tiny yeah, vocal, moment. <clears throat> vocal mo moment yeah. in Anastasia. Basically, the Mary movie. just wants to movie. know what it's like to be a part of things that now have been seeing more new life recently. Uh, it's really great. It's really wonderful. Um, it's even better when, when you originate a role mm -hmm. um, because then you get to have other people come and ask you how to do it. Or, and and uh, you get a little tiny residual, like a little tiny, tiny little residual check. Now, I know mail. that you were part of Cats, and I know it was your favorite job you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> But that's going to be a movie. <laughs> I know you're going to love that. They didn't call me for that one either, They didn't honey. call you. I'm surprised. Which is okay. <laughs> um, if you want more information about this, go to Broadway.com and look at Lilius's Ask a Star, where she talks about playing Grizabella and the joy of putting Who? on that makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know her. But will you go see that movie? Huh? <laughs> you know, I have a cat at home. <laughs> He's a beautiful albino Bengal. He's got big blue eyes. Mm. And his name is Mr. Jackson, if you're nasty. <laughs> That's his name. He's mm. such a beautiful That's long animal. for the thing around the neck. It's like a long. No, there's no thing around his neck. He's <laughs> okay, got to be okay. free. He's free. Mm -hmm. I love it. But he's just adorable. And that's the cat that I love. I'm so glad we had this chat about cats. Ooh. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to the next question. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Sharon would like to know, what is your favorite part about doing these concerts and traveling about and being able to put these shows together? My favorite part of doing these shows is picking my own material, picking out my band, and getting to see the eyes of the people in the audience. Mm -hmm. I get to be up close with my, my fans and my friends and my family, and it's an intimate time. Um, when I do these club shows. And uh, I, I just, I love being able to tell these little stories and I really am honing the way that I do it now because I have a great director, Will Nunziata, and he's helping me to make it more about this, the music. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm chatting less and I'm singing more. But that's the best part, is to be able to see my audience up close and to, to hear their reactions, you know, and well, to you see their reactions. Well, you make every song your own. Yeah. There's no song that you can hear someone else sing, and you don't do it like that. You do it your way. It's true. Which I love. Which I love. <laughs> Thank you. All right, one more question, yes. Caitlin. So this will be the last question. Oh, no. I know. Not the last question. <laughs> okay, we'll do two more. Fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Jonathan wants to know that if you could get a reunion concert of any of your past Broadway shows together, what would you want it to be? With that cast. The with that cast, cast you did oh, together. Or the cast that you were with. I could do that. It would be a show called Romance and Hard Times. That William was written Finn. by William Finn, and we did it at the Public Theater, and it was actually my first major award that I got. I got a t an Obie Award for playing Henny Smith, and the cast was just brilliant. Um, we had John Sloman and Melody Savage, uh, Victor Trent Cook. Mm. Um, uh, oh, we had Peggy Hewitt. So many talented people. W really brilliant, brilliant, brilliantly talent, t talented people. And we all worked together. And I would, I would love, if that were possible, I would love to have a reunion of that cast. That sounds good. 
All right, one more question. Lilius wants another oh, question. Okay. We All do right. what she wants. All right. Last question is Alex just wants to know how are you doing and what do you do on your time off and how do you have fun? On my time off, I have a big chair that goes back like this and my feet go up and my cat sits over here and my dog sits on my lap and I look at movies. I watch Let's Make a Deal with Wayne Brady, who, who I'm obsessed with a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. And I like... I'm sure um, he'd want to sing with you if you asked him. Oh, would he? Yeah. I don't see why not. I'm so shy. Would you ask him for uh, me? Yes, I would. Okay. Wayne, are you watching? Wayne? I'm sure he's watching. Wayne, I'll sing with you. I'll sing to you. <laughs> I'll sing for you. Mm. Wayne Brady, honey. Mm. Um, and also, let's uh, let's make a deal. And and um, uh, what's the other show with Howie Mandel? Oh, let's uh, make a deal. Uh, family feud. No, 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 no. Howie Mandel. Deal or no deal. Deal or no deal. Deal or no deal. You like deals? It's I like deals. I like deals. You're deals. a deal maker. Yeah. Okay. It's the art of the deal. And uh, you know um, uh, the, the movie, the classic Turner Classic movies. I watched mm. that. But now there's Netflix. There's so much to see on Netflix, including The Get Down. If you haven't seen it, yeah, on Netflix, where I play a badass, just a badass gangster bitch, I honey. I can't even She's imagine terrible. that. I can't imagine you doing that. I know, right? It's weird. It took a lot of imagination <laughs> to get into that character. <laughs> yeah, I know. You had to dig deep. I had to dig deep <laughs> to be that bitchy, baby. I'm telling you. And I had to kiss that young boy. It was just awful. That's terrible. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to mm. get over things like that. <laughs> um, I could sit here all day with Lily's White because she's like my favorite person of all time. Um, ooh, I'm all. I'm all. I'm all Are you for Clint? Are clumped. you for Clint, girl? Lilius. Yes, darling. Thank you for coming in. Ladies totally and gentlemen, you have an opportunity to see this woman live in person at Green Room, Green Room 42. Valentine's, I'm Valentine's day. day. Seven o'clock. Love yourself and go. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Give yourself some love and come on and let me love on you. That's what we want. And yeah. Caitlin, will you take us on out? Gladly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. You can listen to this hilarious interview over and over again and a podcast version by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. We talk to Penny Fuller from Hanastasia.